affordable housing for low and middle income families is in crisis. What actions will you support to address this housing crisis? Mr. Harris. Yes, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to working with Ms. Rose Mays at Fair Housing and getting with these professionals and experts who have long achieved a resume that shows accomplishment and insight. I'm not out to look to reinvent the wheel. First of all, before we even talk about, as far as my agenda and as far as my service, trying to get people in affordable housing, I want commensurate or simultaneous people getting rehabilitated credit. It makes no difference to raise and construct housing and people don't have the credit and the FICO scores that qualify them to get in them. I don't want to have the carpet pulled out from underneath my constituents. So above and beyond all things, yes, I'm gonna work with Ms. Rose Mays at Fair Housing and be open as a sponge to absorb what she's accumulated as far as insight and experience. But I wanna see people rise, just not in where they live, but their complete FICA scores and achieve the fullest potential of the kind of living that they deserve. Mr. The lack of affordable housing for low and middle income families is a crisis. What actions will you support to address this housing crisis? Thank you so much. One of the things that, that I believe is important is that any affordable housing unit that you have also is available and close to public transportation. We're currently in the process of building affordable units on the corner of 7th and Chicago. We're also in the process, we, we have converted some of those units on the well. We have seen crime drive, drop in that area as a result of the affordable housing units. Some of the things that we believe are important are the livability and the quality of life of these apartment units. We have seen apartment units in the downtown Riverside in the process of being built. Those were done by Fair Housing, and they will be successful, they, would be, they, they are gonna be great. Also walkable, rightful uh, housing that is gonna be close to, the, that are gonna be close to the Fox Theater and a lot of other amenities. Affordable housing units need to have the same access that all the rest of Riverside has. Mr. Dawson. Well, okay. Um, one of the things we need to ensure is that when we're building affordable housing, that it's not on the land that nobody else wants to build housing on. And that's, that's going on all over the city. Just a week and a half ago, the development committee, with three councilmen on it, they approved uh, high density housing to go onto property that's currently zoned commercial that is contaminated with perk, uh, dry cleaning fluid. It's next to the railroad line with a 40 foot setback. Now all the guides documents say you should always have at least 500 feet setback so you're not getting the pollution, noise, and vibration impacts. And if that wasn't bad enough, it was next to the RPU uh, electrical transformer farm where you have contamination with PCBs and dioxins. And our council, these three councilmen, they said, hey, that's a wonderful idea, and they approved it. That's not fair. Uh, the councilman, one councilman just said, well, what is the potential uh, health impacts for those people? And staff said, we don't need to concern ourselves. The water board signed off on this. Thank that's you. not good enough. 